In the last video, when I wanted to bring my stick man into my new scene, I went back to scene one and I copied him and I pasted him onto a new layer. And that worked absolutely fine. But there is another way and a more useful way that you can do this. It's called the library. And it's usually, if you've got your properties menu up, over here somewhere and it's called library. And you click on it like that and it shows you all the symbols that you've got and you can click on them there. Now, if you've named your symbols well, it's pretty easy to tell what they are before you click on them. If you can't see the library, go to Window and choose Library, like this, and it'll pop up. If it pops up in the middle of your screen, just grab the top of it, about here, and drag it to the side so you get a little blue line, and then let go, and it'll anchor itself to the side of your screen. The other useful thing about the library, actually, before we do that, I'll show you what I mean. So, let's say I've got a new layer like that and I want another stickman stickman 2 but I want stickman 2 and I want stickman 2 to be exactly the same as stickman 1 what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stickman 1 make sure I've got the right layer selected yes I have and I'm going to drag him and I'm going to drop him onto a new layer just like that and now I've got two of them that I can animate separately <clears throat> the next thing that you can do with the library is you can actually edit your symbols. Because let's say I want to dec I decided that I want this stick man to have a red hat. So I'll get my fill tool. I'll go back to properties and I'll choose where am I? Paint monkey tool. Let's see if I can fill in here. Doesn't look like I can. It's not going to let me do anything like that because it's a symbol. So I can't edit it. So Instead of editing on the stage, what I do is I get my selection tool and I double click my symbol and you'll see it goes up here and I'm editing the symbol through the view on the library. It goes dotty again so I can start to edit different bits. Now if I click my fill tool and go to properties, there we go. Now I've got a colour and I can take his hat and I can make, oh hang on. I filled him all red there. Let's undo that. So, get my fill tool, just fill his hat in red. There we go. And you'll see because I'm using the same symbol, it's filled both their hats red because I've used that symbol twice. So, what I did there, because he was all dotty, that meant he was all selected. So, when I filled him, he all, he went, all of him went red. So, I clicked away. So they didn't go, so it wasn't all dotty. Then I got my fill tool and I filled in the hat. If I wanted to change the colour of a leg, or, well, I've joined all this together, so I'd have to change the colour of the lines around the outside. I get my fill tool, and let's make him green. Or not. Let's go back to black. There we go. Once you've finished editing, you absolutely must go back and click on your scene again, like that, to get back to the animation. So that's two different ways you can start to use the library and start to edit symbols. Have a play, make some changes to the symbols you've used, um, start to add new layers in and reuse your symbols. If you've made a cloud or something like that, it's a really good idea. You can just drag a cloud, a single cloud in and resize it on each layer. So you've got lots of different size clouds, but they all look very similar and you're reusing the same drawing. Okay, off you go.